There are a lot of sunflowers growing on my balcony. The birds plant them. To help combat the fungus nets, they got a visit from my little seedlings. Number 86. Eggs, potatoes and a bench. Early April 2024. My garden neighbor's chicken have been laying a lot, so I have a lot of eggs right now because he just can't eat them all, so he's been trying to find to take eggs from him. So I've got about 50 eggs on my counter and in my sink right now. I needed the egg cartons for my potatoes, so I'd moved them all out of the boxes. Some will go to the neighbors. But I still had a lot of eggs, so I decided to use some in meatballs that night for dinner. They also used up some more of those oats. They stayed in the fridge until we were ready to eat that night. This also gives the oats a chance to soak up the liquids. I placed the eggs for the neighbors back into the boxes and the rest into reusable crates. I also boiled some in the air fryer. I made myself a quick breakfast with two of those eggs too. I needed some rest before dealing with the potatoes. As Marvin, the food processor, was still in the shop, this was bread from a local farm. This old butter dish from the thrift shop is making me very happy. After breakfast, I checked on the balcony. The first radishes sprouted. Unfortunately, the only thing I managed to get done that day was the dinner I'd prepared. The potatoes would need to wait. I still don't know how the meatballs were intact, with how many oats there were in the sauce after, but it worked. The next day, after class, and a car wash. My potatoes have been chitting all over our windowsills for weeks. I'd been meaning to spread them out. But it wasn't until I got 50 eggs and cartons and reusable racks for the fridge that I could deal with them properly. I have five varieties of seed potatoes here, plus some sprouted potatoes from the kitchen. It is raining buckets as I'm editing this, with possible ground frost on the forecast. But these will be the first to go into the ground in the garden plot this year, along with some saltify and peas. Now that the potatoes are spread out, it's time to transfer some seedlings into larger pots. I'm using the discarded soil for the bottom half of the pots as filler. They will go into the ground soon enough. I'll try not to harm any of the bird donated sunflowers growing there, so I can transplant those as well. I need to get this bin off the balcony soon to make room for some plants, so any removed weight is a bonus. Right now, even my husband would not be able to carry this to the car. Some of the tomato varieties I planted are doing very, very well for themselves. They are growing fast and strong. I added some containers to prevent water running down the shelf. This is a bedroom after all. I also moved some of the tomatoes into the empty trays where the peppers hadn't sprouted as they are larger. I now have some empty spots, an entire tray to try re-sowing the peppers. 
But first, at least the potatoes need to move to the garden to make room here for new things. While I wait for my greenhouse to arrive and the weather to cooperate, let's focus on that indoor list. Our living room currently looks like an absolute mess because we don't have a spot for the NAS system. Don't worry, you don't need to know what a NAS is. It's just an ugly looking computer that stores our digital things. It is also quite loud, so we'll add some sound dampening and air circulation here. And I still don't own a track saw, so it again won't be a perfectly straight fit. I'm happy to report these are the last of the screws the former garden owners left behind. I got good use out of them, but they were bad screws nonetheless. They were the ideal length for this project, though. Okay, time to show you how bad the straight cuts are. The bottom cut here is mine. Yeah, I know. Cheap screws, the wrong tools. Please don't learn from me here. I'm the one learning and even I know better. Function is what matters. The tiny gaps where the straight cut of the jigsaw wasn't straight enough won't. Which is really good, because the other side is worse. It also won't matter that it was a pain to get these screws into the soft wood, even with the perfect bit on the drill. When we move, we can take it apart and then replace the screws. It's all good. I'd gotten the wrong hinges, so I improvised a lid with more imperfect cuts. This was a quick and easy project. I'm so happy with the design of the bench. I'd build it the same way again. I'd use boards of the exact same length though, not the way the hardware store cut them. I'd use the proper tools for straight cuts. I'd use good screws. But I've learned that I can build a storage bench and I learned how not to use a tool. But most importantly, the bench will do the job I built it for. I've definitely added a track saw to my wish list, though. Finishing this project will require some more parts, but the wooden structure is done. The bench that was in the hallway before will move to my room. I was using the table as storage surface anyway. So long and thanks for being here. If you want to support the channel, check out the link in the description or on the screen below. There you'll also find out how you can help me buy a track saw if my not so straight cats bother you.